Right, welcome back. Time to jump straight in to our afternoon business chat. And we're talking about the latest innovation in the world of tech and handheld devices. I'm talking about the Samsung Note 3 that debuted in the Kenyan market just this couple of, a few couple of days, I think, on, on Friday. In studio is Monaj Changarapat. He's a business leader for Samsung in charge of uh, handheld devices. And Monaj, first question, is this just part of uh, catching up with innovation? We've seen the race, Apple and Samsung, everyone uh, bringing out, or is there actually value in what you're bringing out today? Okay, at Samsung, we are committed to bring new devices. Right. We're committed to bring innovation into the market. Well, the Galaxy Note 3 is coming after, exactly after one year after Note 2. So right. it's time to you know announce the new Note 3. And also, we have got some cool features, like right. uh, we are announcing the Smart Freedom with the uh, Galaxy Gear. Yeah. And of course, some cool uh, design uh, elements uh, on the Note 3. So I think it's the right time to go to the market just ahead of the holiday season. What is significantly different, other than the cover and, 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 and the size and whatnot, uh, that distinguishes this? from the previous note. Okay, so I think a uh, good point that you brought out. I think let's talk about three things. So one, of course, the design, and as you mentioned it. So we've got, uh, you know, a stylish design. It's lighter. It's ho We can hold it better. And of course, on the S-View cover, I mean, it's, we're not just talking about just a display. We can do a couple of clever things from right. the S-View cover, right. like taking pictures and notes and memo. If you go inside to it, if you look at the software bit of it, I mean, we've got a huge experience coming up with S Pen. View, S -Pen. Right. So with S Pen, we're talking about taking the old S Pen experience into the new level. Right. So you can actually build, we actually built five features into a fan menu and then, you know, it's displayed at a touch of a button. And that's that's the coolest thing about uh, the S Pen. And then the last bit, of course, it, as I talked about, the gear, the, the gear and, right. and the smart freedom, which actually relays most of the information on the Note 3 onto your, onto your gear. So basically we've moved the hands-free device from the ear to the, to the wrist. Well, I think uh, <laughs> it's, it is one of the oldest instruments and we've just redefined what, what a watch is about. Yeah. Manaj, you've mentioned a lot of cool things about the, these new gadgets that are coming up, but aren't we locking out those who cannot afford this. But the African market or East African market is about, you know, 60% of the people buy below 4,000 Kenya shillings uh, bracket. And we have addressed that segment. Right. We've got devices from 2,000 shillings all the way to 75, 80,000 shillings. This particular product, as we always say, that it's 0.5% of the market or the elite market. Of course, it is our commitment to bring innovative devices into the African market right. as well, not to, you know, leave aside, uh, you know. So going forward, how do you ensure that uh, your pricing is, 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 is favorable for everyone? Everyone. Well, we have uh, launched uh, smartphones in, in the market uh, starting from 6,500 uh, uh, Kenya shillings. So we believe that we are already in the space. In terms of uh, Note 3 or any flagship product for that matter, we believe that it's bringing the experience, it's bringing the um, aspirational uh, bit in, into the brand. And secondly, I mean, you would see that most of these features that I talked about or benefits that we talked about right. will be cas cascaded down to devices in the lower price range. Monaj, the castle of the smartphone has always been battery life. I mean, I don't want to have a gadget that can do 10 million things things but it I have to charge it every minute mm -hmm. uh, what's the solution well and not just for this note, but going forward <laughs> yeah I think uh, we're getting uh, cleverer and cleverer in, in terms of battery technology fortunately Samsung is a manufacturer of a battery uh, products ourselves so what we have done is we actually increased the you know the battery size in, into uh, into the note 3 and of course what we are now doing is we are writing in special software into um, reducing the usage of the battery uh, as in we, we let's say there are 40 applications running we actually want to consume the power uh, by caching it uh, onto the memory so we've uh, developed a few things both on the hardware and the software set to make sure that the you know the battery lasts long and that, that's basically it manager you can't ask this uh, we can't have a this discussion about these devices without this question a lot of handheld devices are coming to the market and a product that I bought a few months ago is becoming obsolete. Yep. What is Samsung's responsibility for sustainability in regards to the environment and, and, and e-cleanliness? Okay, so we, we're doing a couple of things uh, in terms of uh, a new service called Samsung Premium. So we're introducing Smart Trade. So if in case uh, uh, the next flagship pr product comes, you can actually take the old note, uh, this particular note, and get a certain value. Uh, and in terms of uh, trading and we also introducing for example other uh, devices can be traded into in, in respect of uh, buying a new uh, flagship product and then we're offering uh, two years warranty for, for for the product now we are going into the next level saying that uh, we also introduce ADH uh, uh, during as for launch now we are upping it by saying that four times in a year you can actually have a, a, a damage and uh, actually replacement from a, a damage and handling so we are getting that I mean I, uh, the, the African market is ripe I mean 
obviously smartphone and premium smartphone are just there. But we also now trying to work with other organizations like GSM operators like Safari, Comatel, Orange and you to make sure that how can we take, take this product to the market at the most affordable way and most uh, you know, convenient way. In less than 20 seconds, what's next for Samsung? Uh, next will be the next innovation, and uh, we were talking about the curved uh, display the other day, and uh, perhaps uh, you know we, we need to watch out more and see what's coming. All right, that's all the time we had for this discussion. But of course, offline, you'll tell me about the race between Samsung and Apple in regards to this African market. But that has been Monad Chandrapat, who's been telling, uh, talking to us about the latest debut in the African smart uh, gadget market. That is a Samsung Note 3. Go check it out. I mean, uh, lots of features, but you be the judge if it actually uh, it's not worth noting as it, it says.